Cable in the Classroom has always been about using media and technology in smart and effective ways to help kids learn. 20 years ago, that was educational video programs that teachers could record on VCRs. We helped them learn how to use television to teach effectively and about media literacy. Well, things are certainly different today. We have Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, there's Web 2.0. Cable companies are providing internet services, digital phones, video on demand. It's a very different world. That's what we've built our new website around. We've spent a lot of time talking with child development experts, educators, child advocates, researchers, and leaders in the cable industry to try and find out what are the most pressing issues, what are the best resources and tools for parents and educators in this brave new world, and that's what you'll find on our new homepage. You'll find highlights of the best of Cable's educational programming and websites. You'll find information and tools to help kids become good digital citizens. You'll find information on how to engage kids in learning using high-speed broadband. The website, CIConline.org, is our primary public face. It's where teachers, parents, anyone, can go to get free resources, tools, and content. Right on the home page, you'll see a slideshow that highlights some of the top resources that we're featuring at any given time. Just below that, there are areas that dive deeper into the three main areas that we focus on. Helping kids become good digital citizens, using cables, programming, and resources, and exploring the use of broadband for teaching and learning. Digital citizenship is a brand new area for us, but it's really an extension of a long history of work in media literacy, helping parents, teachers, and kids learn how to productively and safely manage the media that they use. In today's terms, that's a blending together of media literacy, internet safety and security, as well as ethical behavior in digital spaces. Under Cable's programming and resources, we look at all of the valuable educational programming that's available on air and online. In the new site, teachers or parents can do a targeted and timely search on a specific topic that they're looking for. For instance, a child could be studying about the American Civil War just by typing in Civil War and clicking on high school level and history what you'll get is a whole list of results that include programs, websites, articles, and more, all related to the Civil War. And in the third section, we look at some of the different ways that broadband really engages kids in learning. And we're also using our website as a way to engage teachers and parents in conversations about these topics using Facebook, Twitter, and our blog. So what we have here is more than just a website. It's a representation of the cable industry's commitment to education. It's a vibrant collection of useful tools, resources, programming, websites, articles. And furthermore, it's a place where we can develop an active community of parents and educators talking to each other about some of these issues, trading advice, tips and hints, sharing what works. So, Cable in the Classroom and our new website stand at an interesting juncture where we can harness the expertise and power of the cable industry with the expertise and knowledge of education to help kids learn. We invite you to join us there.